today's show is brought to you by Manscaped. The lead is in below the waistline grooming. And more importantly, that lawnmower 4.0, which we love. In fact, man, I was working with it earlier today, but I feel great. Because you go low and slow, baby. It's waterproof. It has a light that you could use. So if it's dark or if it's a light, a highlight setting, you can toggle it on and off, whatever you need to do. But they also have body wash. Hair, uh, I was about to say hairspray, not hairspray, but they have shampoo and conditioner in fact the two body spray kind, though the body spray they do have the body spray yep. and the lip balm as well you don't want no chap lips out here right? there's a bad look out there but more importantly they come with promo codes and that promo code is moats use that you get 20 percent off along with free shipping worldwide so stop wasting time take care of your dangly twins so that way you and their friends can enjoy all right so with that being said we appreciate you manscape Kurt Vaughn, eh? 724, mm-hmm. give Mason one more chance. Hey, man, he might get that opportunity, man. He definitely might get it. We'll obviously see what the availability of Kenny Pickett is. But I just checked. What's Andrew Stocky. He was first to it before the Steelers website. Okay, what is that? Limited. Limited. For okay. Pickett. Did not practice. Josh Jackson. Deontay. With the hip. Miles Jack groin. Fryermuth foot. Ogan Joby toe. Okay, okay. Shout out to the homie Andrew, too, man. Basically right. the same report as yesterday, except yeah. Josh Jackson is in there. And we won't know about Kenny probably until he says Saturday. What's weird is whenever he was in the protocol before against Miami, mm-hmm. that whole week leading up, he was full every practice. He was, and yeah, you're absolutely right. Unless it's just literally the label that's different. He's doing the same stuff, and for whatever reason at the time, they Hold wanted on. to mark it as full. Wait a minute. Say it again. Know. Time out, time out, time out. Rewind it back now. Am I off? I, I swear to God. But every he played practice, Miami, though, right? Full. He did play. Right. So you're saying that because he's limited, you're thinking that he's not going to play? That's what I mean. Is is there a difference between what's going oh, on? Oh, I see what you're trying to do. Unless it's just the label that was different, and they're just uh, sloppy with their details, no, and he's doing the no. same stuff, but I, I just they're just calling it limited now. I think what you're trying to do is assume that all concussions are the same. That's what it sounds like. Because you're saying, like, oh, man, he did it the first time earlier in the year. He was full practice, full participant in practice the whole week. Now he's limited. What's the difference? I just don't think that we can look at it the same now. It's not like if it For was a like an angle. Concussion. Yeah. So I think if anything, you know, they might just be being more cautious. But we don't know how much more he's affected because the second one is usually worse than the first one in terms of the symptoms in terms of just the severity of it because we're talking about this the second time in how many months that you're going through trauma to the brain so it does make sense in that vein for him to be limited this time but yeah i just think with concussions we can't think of it like oh man he's dealing with a lingering ankle injury it's a shoulder injury he was limited 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 he'll be all right because of it being the brain part of it and with the heightened sense of it as well, especially this year, based on how everything happened with Tua, you know, everybody's, you know, super duper cautious about concussions right now. So I think that that's also part uh, at play, too. Percent chance Kenny plays this week? Um, I don't know. I would probably say, uh, I don't know, honestly, man. I'm leaning not likely, though, just because of the second concussion. And this is the first week of him having that concussion. It's not like he missed last week. So that's why I would probably lean that he probably won't go. But I really can't say just because it's the whole concussion thing. Like, everybody responds differently. Like, some dudes are limited, limited. And then, wow, they pass it. And they're like, oh, this dude started like nothing's wrong. Some guys, it's like, man, they're full, full, full. And then they pass. So it's just like, it's different. So I don't really know. But I do lean more to him not playing this week. Based on when Pat had his second one earlier this season, he didn't play that week. And based on this being his second one, he's already been limited, limited, versus the first concussion when he was full, full. That's, yeah, why well, I would say probably not. What about you, though? Makes sense. I was going to say 50-50. And yeah. that's a long drop off for me from that Miami week because I think in mm. Miami week, I was like, he's playing. I, I just feel yeah. like it, once I saw full practice, mm. I think it was uh, the first day of practice, yeah. I was like, he's in. He, he's definitely going to play. Yeah. I just had that feeling. But now, mm-hmm. yeah, all these signs, it's, yeah, probably 50 50. Yeah. Less likely, it feels like. You're right. Second concussion, mm-hmm. limited practice. Yeah. I want to see, like I said, tomorrow, obviously, that could be full and we'll see what it looks like. But that's just my only thing. Like, with it being the second one and this being the first, like, game following that concussion, I just don't know. 